Hi, Alex from LP Power here and welcome to the show where we discuss how to translate car technology from real life into Lego. This time we'll take a look at the multi-link front suspension. This is the most complex suspension type we can have. And let's see why we would want to have it in our vehicle. The point of the suspension obviously is not to add complexity, but to move the kingpin pivot points closer to the center of the wheel when this isn't doable in the traditional manner. Until LEGO makes wheels that allow us to place normal ball joints more inside the rim, this is the way to go. To understand this, let's examine the geometry first. Here we see the top two suspension arms. They have two pivot points, but the suspension pivot is actually where the imaginary extension lines of both arms intersect. So it's a little more than a stud further away than it would otherwise be. Notice that the steering arm is at the same angle as the back suspension link to ensure there is no bump steer. And of course, we need to watch the obligatory video to see how this behaves in motion. The same is true for the lower two arms. I do think I have gone a bit overboard in this example because the projected pivot on the ground is a bit too far out. When watching it in motion, you can see how far out the lower pivot is. When viewed from the front, I have marked the virtual pivot points with red dots, and you can see how far out the imaginary kingpin X actually is. When we put the tire back on, you can see that the pivot on the ground is on the outside edge of the wheel. That's a bit too much. It should be ideally in the center, which means I should have angled the lower arms a bit more. In the side view, here you can see the caster angle, which is quite extreme because I did not angle the lower suspension arms properly. You can fix that in your models. And since the suspension also has two long suspension arms on the bottom and two short ones on top, we can again see how the wheel stays upright and keeps the contact patch with the road intact when the car is leaning to one side when cornering. One more thing I need to mention here is the mounting of the spring. Since the suspension arm that the spring is mounted to also pivots with the steering, the spring needs to have a ball joint on top to allow for this motion. Now go build your own multilink suspension and experiment. Next time we'll take a look at the LPA power one-way clutches, how they work, why would you want one and I'll show you building instructions to make them. See you there.